Hi, this is a plant leaf disease detection system using SVM. Here, this is a code. Classify SVM in that uh, it passes some parameter to get the calculations of uh, which disease type it is. So here, we have five class types. One thing I want to clarify, like uh, uh, you said, uh, these are all the data set data set you want to process. This is a leaf blast and uh, some other gray spot and healthy. So three, I just download it and rename it and specify over here. We have some data set for this leaf disease detection system. We have a predefined data set for this for SVM. Even your data set is also possible. But what is the case means we cannot justify this particular disease is like a just copy and paste all over here. So now we start executing your project and tell you what is the possibility. Here predicted type of leaf disease is A, B, C, D, R, E. You can name it like anything. Here if you want to type it like a gray spot, you can mention it as gray spot. If you want to name this as leaf blast, yes, you can name it as leaf blast. Instead of B, you can name it as leaf blast over here. So we can type, uh, we can name it according to your wish, no issues in it. But we need to identify which type of disease it is. Uh, you cannot, you cannot say this particular thing is for exactly this particular disease. You cannot say that based on the data set, based on classification of SVM norms only, we can proceed. Now we execute and show the demo for this. Um, I'll provide this B1 your input. Now see what is happening. So this is the first thing, first image we are getting. Next in figure 2, this is the scenario we get. In figure 3, the affected parts are highlighted and it will be showing like this. Yeah. Figure 4, GA segmented image. Figure 5 is the graph for sample correlation classes. The predicted type of leaf disease is E. So I already said we can name it over here, whatever the name we want, like leaf, leaf, leaf blast or um, as per your uh, wish. Now we are, I gave B1 correct, so leaf blast you can give. So according to that, you can give any disease you want. And one more thing, be clear with it. No one can predict this particular leaf is affected in this particular disease physically because we apply our algorithm, correct? So the algorithm only predict what type of disease it is. We cannot physically say this is a this is for this disease like that. I give C or one. That means uh, you are. Uh, next image I, I gave your next image just see what is happening yep. now it is type C so here you can type according to your wish you can type any name over here so class for the term. this is a segmental image Similarly, you can give any any image. You can test with any cases. So here also, I give uh, have lots of images. You can test with this. You can pass H3. H3 means healthy image. I think you said. So it will be as a different type. Yeah, this is type B. So you can name it over here. So similarly, we can do change the names of diseases and names of uh, healthy or something else we want to type means you can change over here. You can fix the disease as per your wish because disease names is a different thing. SVM, if you apply SVM logic, it can classify the types according to four, uh, five different categories. One, two, three, four, five. According to that, you can change the name and you can show the output in it. Any clarification, you can make a call and get a clarification of it. So you can get the total codes from my end. No issues in it. Within a minute, I can deliver the codes to you.